laughing again. <laughs> this is like the 15 step process. To get it. I'm just amazed you can get it all over there. I can't believe I do it in memory now. Okay, we are on. Super duper. I'm going to chat for a couple minutes, Jody, just tell everybody gets on. And then um, they will start joining us. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, welcome, everybody. This is Lisa Zimmer with Lisa Zimmer Essential Oils Biz Tips uh, Facebook group. And we have a special guest today. I am super excited to tell you about. Um, we had a great testimonial from Miss Jody Howard um, in the comments about how um, she started using the Zimmer system. And I'm going to save. Um, what she just told me because it's really good but the point is it's helped her um come back to her business relaunch her business all right people are joining us awesome okay hey laura hey harley hi julie hey sherry hey jody hey michelle hi Lori. hi sue all right everybody's popping on so we'll give them a little bit of time to pop on and i'm gonna recap couple other things too. Yay, everybody's coming. All right, so um, as you can probably tell, for those of you that are joining us, I am really enjoying these Monday collaboration type events. So I'm gonna keep doing more. So if you're wondering how people get on here to collaborate with me and to share their stories, I watch all your comments. And so when you post your successes with our Zimmer systems and how they've changed your business, um, I'm paying attention and I want to know more because we want to help everyone else. If you're having um, trouble getting um, excitement in your business, if you've um, lost the excitement as you're in your business, if you're having trouble launching your business, if you need to relaunch your business, we want to have people on here that have done it. So it's not just us, right? Because we sell some products. So you don't want to listen to just us. You want to hear it from everybody else. Just like your doTERRA products. Not everybody that um, is following you wants to hear just from you. So make sure you're sharing testimonials about your doTERRA products from your customers or other customers to help win people over. Okay, so same thing. I want you to see that the Zimmer system works, but I want you to hear from the people doing it why? What are they doing? How are they doing it? What's made a difference? And so for those of you that are new here, when I reference the Zimmer system, you can go to the files tab and I put together an ebook for you, or actually my friend Mandy did because she's awesome and organized, unlike myself. And uh, it just tells you the basics of the Zimmer system so you could get started. Okay. And then if when you want to know more, there's an announcement tab in this group and we take you through all of our most commonly asked questions and processes um, from trifolds to make and takes to our FAQ system to all the free stuff right um, uh, vendor events Facebook posts how we set up Facebook groups we take you through all of it <clears throat> lots of people are still joining Jody <laughs> um, hey Chris hey Misty hey Kay all right so Keep on joining us, but we're going to go ahead and get started. And if you um, have any friends, feel free to invite them to check this out if they're building the business and make sure they know about biz tips, right? So add all your um, shares and builders in here that won't be overwhelmed that are actually building a business. Also, I want to mention um, the WWZD uh, course that we're offering. So that is what would Zimmer do? That's me and Mr. Zimmer. We're going to tell you for 35 days what we do each day for our business and help you plan to set up um, for a fabulous end of October um, to get your uh, momentum, your post, your text, tell you exactly what to do to launch an incredible November 1st and what you can do throughout the month to make November your best month ever. We want to help everyone rank up, get to silver, so you can get to leadership, right, for March, and we'll tell you more about that. But today, I want you to hear from Jody. So, Miss Jody Howard has joined us. Jody's a gold and has been building for five years, but what's special is um, where she was at in her business this spring compared to where she's at 
now after using the Zimmer system. So um, Jody, I'm gonna let you take it from there and share with us your story. Tell them where you were in your business in the spring, like you just told me. For those of you that don't know, I have like three minutes to prep with my guests. <laughs> I invite them on um, based on a testimonial that they've posted in our group somewhere. And I wanna hear more. And so I don't know much about our guests until they pop on five minutes before with me to chat real quick. So, oh, um, someone asked a good question. If you want to join the WWZD 35 days where we help you every day, it's a dollar a day, go to lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. And it's the very first product. So I also encourage you, a lot of people are joining who haven't got the trifold yet. I'm like, what? Get the trifold. <laughs> Get the trifold. We're going to use it in the 35 days. We're going to, um, I'm going to give you a free PowerPoint using it. So all kinds of good stuff are going to um, come with it. So make sure you get your trifold. Um, okay, Jody, I'm going to have you take it away. We want to hear about you and how this has changed your business. All right. Well, thank you, Lisa. First and foremost, I have many thanks to give you, but thanks for having me on this platform. Uh, and thank you for inspiring me to get back to the place that I am right now. And as Lisa said, I've been doing the business for a good five years and I am gold. I've hit gold a few times. I hadn't yet solidified gold or felt like I was in a space with it. But the bigger thing was I felt like I would really lost my luster for what I was doing, why I was doing it. And the joy has kind of been missing for a long time. And I was definitely you know, just kind of doing some of the things I know I needed to do, especially back in the spring, since after the first of the year, probably longer than that, really. But I think in the spring was when it really started to hit me that I just felt, what am I doing? You know, where's this going? Where do I want this to go? My team wasn't growing because I just didn't have the energy or the capacity. And I just felt really just kind of down in the dumps about it. And I'm not a woe is me sort of person. So I didn't really like that feeling, but I wasn't sure how to get back or how to get out of it or how to shift anything. And I've done just about every doTERRA system, if you want to call it that. I have done Diamond Club. I've done lots of different activities and things throughout the years. And all of them have definitely helped in different ways, but I just still was feeling super lackluster. And um, my good friend, Joyce Lynn, who's actually out in Singapore, she was the one who said to me, you need to get on Lisa's page. You need to check it out. You know, Just take your time and go over there. And so I did back in the spring, I started watching some of your videos. I started hearing about your system and it sounded really good. And yet there was still this part of me that felt like, oh my gosh, not it, another one. <laughs> it did, you know, and, and it felt different, but it still felt like, wow, how am I going to get from even there to where I am, you know, right now where I'm feeling so out of it, how am I going to even be able to accomplish this? So I gave myself a really basic goal, which was to have one make and take by the end of the summer. Mind you, this was the spring. Mind you, I've done Diamond Club, completed it. Like I've done all of these, you know, go get them tasks. And that seemed even at the end of the spring, like a huge accomplishment if I could just do one make and take by the end of the summer. <laughs> so, I mean, that's where I was. Sometimes we're there. Like any you know, little thing, no like, oh, not another thing. Yep. Yeah, that's where mm -hmm. I was. And so I implemented, you know, your FAQ page. I have your, you know, got your trifold, um, obviously, you know, downloaded the different make and take options. And I know I wanted to start with the basics, with the essentials. And so I'm a really good student. I watched your videos and I kind of was prepping probably longer than I really needed to because I kept like just not wanting to take the action and do it and pull the trigger. Um, so as in the summer rolls around, I'm about to get on my trip, I'm about to head off for you know, we do a week at the beach and I, I had to do it. I mean, I had pushed myself to the very last point of even having this option. So literally a week before I was about to go, I'm like, all right, I set my date. I sent out an email just kind of like saying, I'm doing something new. I'm doing this make and take, come join. And it was the same group. What I did do first was I went in my back office and I went to my um, mailing labels and I got the emails for everybody who was in my local perimeter area. You know, I plugged in the areas that I knew I wanted to be. I'm in the DC area. So I had an area that anybody who I thought was in decent driving distance. And I, so I did a really wide cast a wide net of who I was going to send this email to. And I did that. So I created a simple email inviting him, telling him I was doing something new and different, bring a friend, you know, I just followed all of Lisa's tips. And um, what was shocking to me was I got more email responses to this email than I have had in any, and I swear in any other email mailing. And I, I don't even know exactly Still what it was about it. Um, 
the next day I sent out some text reminders also or some text invitations at that point um, because it was literally just and it was people that I had already in my phone and I told them you know to check their email for more information but I invited them and um, this was a Thursday or Friday by Saturday I had um, 14 people coming and each of just about each of them were bringing a friend so my RSVP list was up to 27 people within that 48 hour period and I was super excited and super scared <laughs> because now I had to do it and they were all coming <laughs> and I didn't know where in my house I was going to put them. And, um, but I didn't want to put that out there either. I didn't want, I'm like, okay, this is what I've been wanting. And now here they are. So, and I knew I prepared, but uh, yeah, so that, that week leading up to it, I sent some, you know, email reminders or text reminders to make sure people showed up. And the night of the class, I ended up, I think it was 22 total showed up and we sold over $330 in, in rollers. And what was amazing to me, I had a few helpers on hand uh, because I knew that number I needed to not let it go crazy. I watched your videos of how not to, you know, make this a crazy train. So I really took copious notes on that. I kept it, you know, very, very specific on one oil out at a time. I mean, I, I really, I kept it down to an hour and 15 minutes because I also didn't want it to get unwieldy with the time frame. Right. Uh, and it was just so exciting. I mean, the energy in the house, the energy in the room, seeing all these, most of the majority of them were actually people who were already on my team, you know, and yet they brought a friend. And so that night we also closed with a few enrollments that night and then followed up with a few more. And since then, um, I decided that once I got back from my vacation, I was going to implement doing regular make and takes. And so I implemented doing some regular ones at my house. So my kitchen is now under construction. So now I'm doing them, which was great. It was kind of foundation. I was able to get about four in before my kitchen construction started. Mm -hmm. And now I have other team members in the area who now I'm going and helping them do some of their make and takes. I've got people, you know, out of state doing make and takes. And it's just, it's just been so exciting to have this new energy and this new joy brought back into my business and feeling like this is why I was doing this. So we could create a community and we could come together. And I, I don't know, honestly, I was kind of shocked that people would keep coming back and want to spend $5, even though they already have their own oils at home. <laughs> they want to. So someone keeps asking me, are you sure I need to charge this? Are you sure? I'm like, you're not paying attention. So it's for all of it. They want to come back. They want to do it. They're seeing value in it. If you don't, then they're not seeing like the whole vision for themselves, mm -hmm. right? So there's so much going through people's heads when you collect that $5. If there's 50 million things happening, they um, are more likely to use it because they spent $5 on it. They um, see value in that product now because you see value in that product now. They see Jody collecting, you know, some money and they're thinking, business, I have this financial situation I could, you know, recover from if I did what Jody did, right? Help people just like you're doing and just all you're doing is just doing it. Mm -hmm. They're seeing all these things happen. They're seeing laughter. They're seeing fun. They're seeing you light up. Mm -hmm. And people absorb what we're putting out. If it's desperation, oh, I got to get one enrollment this month so I get an empowerment bonus. They feel that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to fail, right? But you were lit up, excited, like, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And probably really excited when you knew you had 27 RSVPs. Like, you probably went from, like, I have to do this because I said I was going to do it to, oh my gosh, it's happening. <laughs> it was, it was happening. And there was also this like super excitement and a little terrified at the same time, you know, just before, and even honestly, every day before I was doing, cause I did Monday make and takes after that. And even the day, you know, leading up to it, there was still that kind of nervous energy, but it was exciting. It's very exciting at the same time. And again, being a space of they're doing it and people are showing up and, you know, at, for those weeks following, you know, I usually would have anywhere from seven to 12 people. And those are actually really great numbers in my house, in my space. And we just, I offered a different series based on, because I did do um, your little, your form that we fill out in the bidding of class, you know, to see what are people interested in. After that first class and I had 27 people or 22 actually showed up, 
I did like a little poll as to what was it that these people were most interested in. And so I used that poll that there's on the bottom of your, the form that you fill out, you know, for your drawing slip. And that was what I then decided to do my next make and takes on, because I wasn't sure where to take it from there. So I did, you know, just based on what people said they were interested in, that was where I, I took it. And that was just, and it continued to be different people each time. And they would sometimes bring someone, sometimes it would just come on their own. It, it, but it was just, this new conversation was now starting with my existing team members or my existing, you know, oil users or even customers who were kind of, it was just new stuff was a lot of people like the emotions class, they weren't even really aware of a lot of the emotions oil. So it was just this new conversation that was creating because they happened to be in their own rut of what oils they, oh, they knew they're on guard and they're breathe and they're this, but they didn't, they hadn't explored a lot of other stuff and they could come and try something for five bucks here and five bucks there. And as we say, we know when they use it, they're going to get some, you know, great benefit from it. So I did ask a friend of mine who she brought like three friends and I've asked her for a long time for referrals and interest, like what was the difference for this? Cause she just jumped on it. And she said for her, it just felt like she could bring some people and they could each spend five or, you know, 20 bucks. And it was just this great relief that it wasn't like, oh, they need to go and buy this huge, you know, big money spending. Like, sure, anybody can come and spend $5, $10, $15. And there was this relief taken off of her as the friend inviting them because that felt really comfortable. Mind you, all of them ended up enrolling. But, you know, for her, it was just this relief. And that's how her invitation, she felt comfortable extending the invitation, which I thought was really interesting. It's taken the sales out of it. And because really, um, that's what we want. Because everybody that does doTERRA doesn't do it for the money, right? They do it because we fall in love with these oils. They change our life. We help our friends change their life. And she probably did not think, oh, I'm going to bring free three friends so I can get free stuff or so I can make some cash. She brought three friends because she's been dying to help them with oils mm -hmm. and just didn't know how to do it. Yes. And it's a safe space, right? It Would really you say is. that? Absolutely. It's a safe space. And I think that's why that $5 though is so important because it, it, like you said, it creates value and it just changes the way everybody experiences it. And so I, um, yeah, it, it's just been really, really cool. And it's been so rewarding to, like I said, to see team members outside of the area after I shared with them what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing them feeling courageous enough to, you know, start implementing your system and starting to use the trifolds and starting to see a difference and breathing new life into their little neck of the woods or their team or their business. And so it has just been so helpful. And I'm so, so grateful <laughs> that I'm you glad. <laughs> I had the exact same experience. So that's how all of this, you know, was born was exact same thing. Everybody knows my story, you know, got to diamond and the joy was gone. And I was like, I do not want to say the same old um, spiel one more time. And nobody wants to come back. It's not fun anymore. Like, you know, who wants to bring their, um, who wants to come back to the same, you know, one hour class or whatever we were doing and tell them about these 10 oils. They'd heard it 15 million times. But what's nice with this is we still do the trifolds, right? So there is repetition for learning and absorbing information and getting comfortable. That's only, how much time would you say you spent on the trifold teaching part? Maybe 10 minutes. That's what we're down to is about 10 minutes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the rest of it's the fun because you got 22 people taken care of in an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. That is phenomenal. And that just goes to show people don't need tons of like rambling. Mm -mm. They just need enough mm -hmm. to get comfy. So um, what would you say? Did you book classes from that? Yes, I definitely okay. booked classes from that. Um I would say in the beginning, it was maybe just two or three, but we've continued to book from there, which is what's been exciting. And so that also does continue. And that was one of the things in the very beginning, you know, after I did it, I knew there were parts afterwards that I was like, oh, next time, you know, you always want to tweak. And that was for me, the booking classes was something I wanted to go back and focus again on. And I have, I feel much better the more I've done my make and takes just like with the clothes, you know, I, I went on and I watched your video and I took very copious notes and I, you know, use the closing, the soft clothes and the ending clothes. And that's something that I continue 
to just get more comfortable in doing. But the first time I did it, you know, I also, the first time I did do um, one little, it's not even a mistake, but it was just a difference was I, I love the idea of the goodie bags. And so I created the goodie bags and they were so pretty in these little organza bags. So I put them in a basket on the table, but I forgot to mention that they were for new enrollments only. So most people just left with one, which again, I'm like, well, that's an LRP booster. But I remember leaving and I was like, oh wait, those are supposed to just be for new people. <laughs> so, you know, it you is- You do it wrong and you fix it. <laughs> exactly. So then from then on, I would just hold a cute bag and now I show them the cute bag and, and we take out and we see what's in it. But even as pretty as they are, I don't leave them on display. I want it to be for new enrollments. So um, what would you say? I love so many people have trouble with the words, even hearing my words, you know, and it doesn't resonate. But tell us your um, segue. Will you, do you mind me putting you on the spot, like role playing? I know it. I love to scare people. <laughs> tell me, like, get in your headspace, like you're in class and, and tell us how you segue into the class portion, how to ask. For hey, host a class. Do you mind doing that? Um, yeah, generally I, I do it towards the end as we're talking about, um, you know, we I've finished up and I've done, we've done all our make and take stuff and I bring everybody back in by doing the drawing and the giveaway and I let them know we're going to pay, you know, in just a minute, we're going to settle up, but I have a few other important things I want to share with them. And I personally, I love to hold up, I like visuals. So I have the little printout, you know, that you have that has, um, if you host a class or what the different options are. And even though there's a lot of information on there, for me, it's just helpful to keep that in my stack of goodies so that as I, I remember, it's a cue for me. And so I simply just, you know, put it out there and I say, you know, I, if anybody's interested, I would love, we can come and do this in your house and you can invite your friends to join us. And we have lots of different topics that you can check out and different types of rollerball classes to do. And along the way, you can, you can get some really fun, great products. I mean, I really keep it short and sweet and um, I invite people to then, you know, talk with me at the end of class and see, if, you know, if there's anybody in particular. And sometimes I feel that, I don't know, you just, there's some people who make eye contact with you when you're saying it or someone who I know has maybe in the past kind of hinted at the possibility. And so then oftentimes I'll do a more direct conversation with those folks because I find that that's also helpful is to acknowledge that I know in the past you mentioned you wanted to do this. But now we're doing it differently, you know, and I think that's it. Also, I'm kind of revisiting some of my hostesses in the past who we did more traditional class and I, it's just this new energy. And so it's exciting to share with them specifically, hey, would you like to revisit this idea of hostessing and doing it in a new and refreshing way? So I kind of go about it both ways, if that makes sense. I like that new and refreshing way. I like that explanation. What are the chances you have that email that you sent out to everyone? What are the chances you can get your hands on that baby? Uh, yes, I absolutely have that email that I sent out to everyone. Would you mind? I'm putting you on the spot in front of 23,000 people. <laughs> Do you mind emailing it to me and, and sure. we post it in business for everyone to see? Absolutely. Not a problem at all because it was just really simple, but Yes. That's what we need. I finally learned um, my last welcome, like welcome new members email that I did, like, I don't know, a month or two ago. I tweaked it. I've learned so much along the way. And there were a couple questions in there that they wanted to answer, you know, to get something from me. And so that's uh, all of a sudden it worked. Like, you know, everybody was like, oh, yes, I do want to know more and, and let's chat and let's schedule that follow-up appointment. I was like, ah, save this email, like put it in a frame and, and <laughs> post it. And the excitement there is people are so busy. So to get people to agree to host the class or to get people, you know, to respond to our emails, it is so exciting. It is. I it mean, sounds I so simple, but people are so busy. They don't like. Yeah. I mean, I do. I send out monthly newsletters. I send out, you know, I've, I've hosted a, you know, come in, you know, let's talk oils once a month for a really long time. And I finally stopped because nothing was happening with it. And um, this, for some reason, just, and I think there is also, I don't remember exactly, and I'll send it to you exactly what I put in the subject line, because I think, you know, that was helpful. I tried to do something mm -hmm. catchy. I remember thinking that, that I, I wanted it to have something that would maybe spark a little interest in the subject line. Cause I know how many emails are in my inbox and sometimes it yeah. does. It's all about that subject line that makes me go, huh, what's this about? Rather than, 
you know, I just bypass it or I immediately put it, you know, to look at later and then later often doesn't happen. Yep. So I think it definitely helped the next day that I did a very similar short text. And I can send you what that was, a similar short text. And those are the people I had in my phone that I was like, yeah. well, I know there's certain individuals who I, I connect with semi-regularly via text. And so I wanted to make sure I had that option as well. So it wasn't just an email that was also a text. And text is so important. It really, and just um, for people, they're probably going to ask, so what was the text? It was probably just, hey, you know, want to make sure you saw that email or. Exactly. Right? Okay, I'm going to just make sure I sent you an email with more details, but I'm doing a new kind of roller class. You can come. I, it was just really simple. It was like, you can, you know, come and learn how, not even, it wasn't even that. It was just really simple. It was like, I'm doing it. I think I said, I'm doing a new kind of oils class. And we're making, we're making and take roller balls for five bucks a roller, make as many as you want, bring a friend, get one for free, check your email for more details. I think was how it was just perfect um, to kind Super of simple. spark your interest, but then follow up. And then with the email, I did the, the top of the email. Once you got into it, I remember I made that super simple. And then I'm like, for more information, read below so that they could then understand how is this even going to work? But I didn't do that all at the top. I just kind of gave a yeah. quick hint and then I explained it a little more. You know, yeah. how does this even work? Because I hadn't done a make and take class like this. And I used to yeah. really frown upon make and takes because they were messy and people, it was crazy. And people were constantly like grabbing and doing different things. And I just didn't want to even mess with that. Yeah. And so this way of doing it and just bringing out one, oil, for me, that was huge. One oil at a time. And I love when there were lots of different people in the room because then somebody else could say, you know, like, oh, how do you use balance? And it wasn't just me up there constantly yeah. mouth piecing. And they would do a quick, you know, and I made sure that we kept them quick. Um, how do you like cheese balance? And then the next time the new oil went around, I invited somebody else to share a quick, how do they use it while they're doing the drops? And, and connecting. So everybody in the room is learning from each other. And it's not yeah. just me feeling like, wah, 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 that I'm constantly. And by doing that, you set the groundwork, you set the, you know, foundation for your experiences moving forward aren't 1-800 called Jody. Jody knows everything because Jody was the only expert in the room at the class. Mm -hmm. So you totally like cut the cord there and it's like, that's hard for us though, especially like so many leaders are like have control issues or have like, oh, I want to do everything to be done right. So I'll just do it myself. I'm not saying that to you. I, that's me. No, that's and, me. But so yeah. many leaders have that characteristic in them. And um, in this business, it's a great characteristic, right? It's what gets so many people going, but it's also a big flaw and, and ruins our business by um, us wanting to, you know, lead the class, control the class, say everything in the class. And then we're seen as the next thing you know, everybody's guests there mm -hmm. are texting you. Oh, Jody, you're the one. And, and you're just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Contact your friend that brought you, post in the Facebook group, right? Because we did, you know, all the talking and all the experting. Yes. And it that's is so true. And that's definitely something that I am totally shifting gears. And it is a conscious shift that I have to learn to mm, mm, not speak because I am. It just rolls off my tongue or somebody asks a question and I and I always go back to who else in the room, you know, and that's it's nice, so nice that there are existing customers in the room because I can then shift it back to them because even when questions come my way, I really try to turn it back around and say, can somebody else share with us, you know, their experience? And, uh, but it is, it's, it's like a retraining of my brain and a retraining of what I'm used to just, well, I'm here to help you all and helping you is by giving you every answer. I know it's really, really not. Helping you is by allowing, you know, you all to learn from each other and to facilitate this space, but helping is not that I have the answer for everything because, I don't, and I don't want to be posed as that person. I've just been doing it a lot longer and it's retained in my brain, but by no means is that helpful, right? It's like the whole teach, teach the person to fish, right? Rather than just constantly serve up that fish on the platter for them. <laughs> yep. Well, and this is perfect for new people to hear because like, um, being nails on a chalkboard for me is when someone new says, oh no, I need to wait. I need to learn more. And I'm like, no, stop learning more. <laughs> You're going to ruin it it's because true. we learn more and then we get up in that room and then we're like, we learned more. Now I'm going to tell you everything I know. And I'm like, oh, I wish you knew nothing when you taught the class. Like, 
read the trifold. I don't want you to know a single thing. Ask some people in the room, you know, to share a testimonial about something they love, you know, from the list or whatever, right? Just like you did controlled and went around the room with each oil or I make sure and ask for a testimonial when I get to the supplements portion or, you know, and um, it's just the whole, like, I wish people stood up and knew nothing. You're better prepared when you don't know anything because you can't accidentally like start rambling about frankincense or you can't stand, right because we do we're like oh I have a good story I must share it I know and we have a story for every oil so we do really complicated and it goes on and on and you lose lots of people and I do I have a brand new um, builder that she's just starting and she's using the trifold and that's what she said to me in the beginning. She's well, I don't know if I know enough. I'm like, no, 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 you don't need, this is all you need. This is perfect. Just sit down with them and let, you know, read through this together. And she's right now, she's been doing more one-on-ones with the trifold. And she, we talked the other day and she got two enrollments this month. And she's like, well, people just like, you know, we read through it and, and it was just so simple. And I just asked them what they wanted. And I, I kind of, you know, said, this would probably be your, and she's like, I just read through it. And next thing I know, they're ready to enroll. And she's like, it was just so easy. And I was like, that's what we want. So many people just start knowing stuff and sharing what they know. Yeah. Oh, stop sharing what you know. Just yeah. read the paper. <laughs> and don't let all that other clutter get in the way and allow yeah. them to just read it with you and and then move on. And that's, it has been, it's just been so, so helpful and yeah. just so refreshing. And I'm just so grateful. I really, really so- can't. One thing I, um, thank you, by the way. Um, one thing I want to talk about is the momentum, right? So all your momentum was probably gone in the spring and summer because you were done, right? Yeah. So, uh, cause that happens to us once we, you know, exhaust our warm market, help all our friends and family. And, um, it's not a class platform that people are like jumping for joy to go to the next, you know, boring presentation where we talk about 10 oils and then ask them to buy stuff like that's not fun um and so your momentum's gone so I want to inspire these people who either haven't started their momentum because your momentum's probably really rocking right now right because it really is <laughs> once you get that so what would you say to them who haven't started their momentum yet or who've lost their momentum like what do you think is the key to keeping it going? Well, for me, it was definitely, like I said, I do like having a um, quote unquote deadline. I liked that I needed to give myself a timeline to have something completed by. And I gave myself a really generous timeline because that's the space I was in. But looking back on it, I, I was just in a space of feeling exhausted and I knew what I needed to do. I just wasn't taking action yet. So that same idea of, well, I need to make sure I've watched every Lisa Zimmer video or I've watched, I've, you know, reread this and I've written all of this out. You know what? Just, just do it. You know, imperfect action is, is much better, right? Than just sitting there and thinking about it or contemplating it. And to me, it's the action that creates the momentum. And so me doing it uh, even imperfectly and doing the things that I would go back and shift are the fact that I'm just putting it out there and I'm actually taking action. And so give yourself you know, a timeline if you need to, then I would say shorten it if you can and just do it, do the imperfect action, do the thing. And I've had that been told to me so many times for so many years through, you know, a variety of people. And I found myself not doing the thing. And for me, the thing was just doing a make and take, just doing one simple make and take created this new momentum on my team. And, and what it really created was a new energy for me. And so that was that huge shift for me. And then it was now, how could it not, like you said, how could it not move and grow from there? And how does it not inspire? Cause I was so excited that I was calling my people in Florida and sharing with them. And, and a lot of them are already on your business page. So then they saw my post and, and so it, it can't help, but just create that momentum. And as far as keeping it going, um, I think it definitely is when you start then sharing it with your builders or you see them and whether, you know, just the people who want to share on some level, because that inspires me, you know, talking to this, you know, one of my newer builders and she enrolled two people this month using the trifold. Like, that's just like, 
is so exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and looking in my back office and seeing more enrollments are happening by people other than me. And that hasn't been the case for a really long time. And I am not the top enroller on my team. Woo -woo! You know, it's really exciting. <laughs> It is, isn't it? It's yeah. like a, it's like a mother thing or a parental thing, or right? Because I got to remember, it's not all women in DoTerra. It's a parental thing, like, oh, my babies are getting it. <laughs> they get to experience the awesomeness that we get to experience now. Do you get that feeling too? Absolutely, it is. It's way more exciting, you know. Like you said, like when you see, you know anyone, your child succeed, you're like, that's even more exciting than your own success. And so you do, you have that feeling like, oh, this is so exciting. It's not just me who's seeing this and experiencing this. And that's what I love that, that I heard that for so long, you know, make yourself duplicatable, do, you know, keep, and I'm like, I think I, I didn't just, know what that meant to didn't be know honest. What that meant either. And I obviously wasn't really succeeding at it because I didn't have a lot of, I felt duplication happening. And just in the past few months, the duplication I've already seen of people feeling able to do this and that's that key point that they can feel that they can do this too and it doesn't have to be Jody who's been doing this for five years and is gold and there's this weird I'm like no you don't need any of that just jump in and, and start going yep and just do it do you like and there's always going to be stuff right I still like I'll finish a class and someone will have interrupted me at a key point you know where I talk about hostessing and then I'll get home and I'll be like oh I did not talk about booking a class. Like, how could I be doing this for this long? You know, four years in, and I forgot because that's the, that's really probably one of the most important things in the entire class. You know, for those of you that are new here, getting um, people to love it so much that they want to host a class too, and that's how you're growing out into the world and making new friends and sharing the oils with more people, not just your immediate sphere of influence. And so booking the classes from the classes is probably, I don't want to say the single most important, but you know, one of the top three things that you have to do in every class um, to keep going and growing. And so. I don't have a problem if there is something like that, that I've forgotten, which I do when I do a quick follow-up, you know, I'll send out a follow-up text or I'll do a follow-up phone call. I love adding it in there and say, you know what? I completely forgot to mention this last night and this is so important and I want to make sure you're aware of this. And so I, I do that at the end of every class. Also, there are things that I forget to say or I wish I said differently. And depending on what it is, I will often turn around the next day and just, you know, kind of do some follow up with it and shift it around and just put it out there. So at least I feel that because there are people who, for all we know, who do want to host and the, the, the fact that we didn't say anything or we forgot to, then they're like, oh, I guess maybe, I guess I maybe can't do this. But, you know, a simple reminder the next day or um, letting them know in some other way that I totally forgot to mention this. And, you know, it was just so exciting, all the other stuff that was happening last night. I forgot to mention this really cool thing, which is that you can do this too and you can invite friends over. Mm -hmm. And so I, I love going back after the fact and it maybe not be as pretty or whatnot but that's what I like to do also and it's good to do even if you did mention it in class you know mm -hmm. to every single person so people don't always always hear what we say the first time or they don't always receive it or they're not in the space to receive it and so it's just like everything else repetition 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 people always think oh but I said it and nobody wanted to and oh no now I'm you know afraid to ask them to host the class again there's nothing wrong with asking people over and over and over and um as long as you know you take their answer like if they're like no don't ever ask me to host a class again you know I've gotten a few of those which is fine it's not their thing they don't want to do it or for whatever their reasons are and you know that's noted in my you know customer sheets don't ask so and so about a class <laughs> Got dried, but uh, you can't do it wrong. They're going to tell you if they absolutely and positively don't. So that's what I love. Yeah. Well, thanks. I um, am so excited that your business is back and that you're back and that you have the sparkle in your eyes again and like, hey, I can do this. Um, there was some, you know, deflating when we were chatting because um, we've chatted on a mentor call before, right? So, and um, you can see it's fun to do those one-on-one -on -one mentor calls with people because you can literally see the transformation happen. So I look forward to our next one too, where talking about nitty gritty and yeah. how to get to solid golds and platinum and, and walk 
platinum at leadership. <laughs> I like giving people challenging goals because if you're not challenged, um, just like you challenged yourself with just the simplest thing of, you know, what I'm going to host one make and take what, like in the next four months, you get yeah. yourself. <laughs> I know, I know. When I say it now, I'm like, oh, but that's where I was in my business. And that yep. even that felt like a mountain that I needed to like work really yep. hard to get to. If any of this feels like a mountain that you're climbing, folks, um, you're not the only one. Um, but the key is just do it. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden that mountain turns into a little molehill. It's just like, <laughs> we, uh, um, I do it. I'm doing it right now with, you know, the 35 days of WWZD, right? I told my husband, I'm freaking out. He's like, why you do this stuff every day? I haven't done it before. Right. So it doesn't matter if it's, you know, coming up with a 35 day course, you know, to present to people. It doesn't matter if it's your first make and take. It doesn't matter if it's the first time handing someone that trifold and saying, oh, have you heard of essential oils? Like go back to that space in your head and we're all like, oh my God, I can't do it, right? It doesn't matter what it is. The second we do it, we're like, seriously, I made it that hard in my head. Did I really just torture myself for all that time for absolutely nothing? Mm -hmm. And we do. So the point there is everyone stop torturing yourself. Just do the first make and take. Schedule your timeline so it's in the next 10 days, two weeks right? So just do it. Now is the most important time because your make and takes and your um, class duplication process is, is you're almost out of time for the end of the year because people really don't want to do that. You know, the latter half of December or they even taper off, you know, the first and second week of December. So everyone needs to, and you don't have Thanksgiving week, you know, in November. So everyone needs to be cranking out these make and take classes and getting them on the schedule, like right now, like the time is out, we got to do it right now. And so I love um, that you're able to express, don't wait four months, because <laughs> it, oh, it really so wasn't that <laughs> Waiting four months to buy your, what's the lottery or whatever is that like yeah. 1.5 billion right now? It's like waiting to buy that ticket. And then what are we waiting for? Buy the damn ticket. Do it. Schedule do the it. class. Just do it. Well, I'm going to come back. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to wrap up and then I'll come back. And if people have questions on here, I might reach out to Jody if there's something that we missed. There were so many people on today, which is awesome. And a lot of comments and questions, but rather than sit here, I'll go back and revisit them, but I would love a copy of that email to share with everybody. Thanks Absolutely. for letting me take on the spot there. So, All right, thanks so much. Thanks for coming today, I appreciate it. Thank All right, God. everybody, happy oily, and I'll come back and ask questions uh, or answer questions um, in the comments just by typing them out. Thanks, Jody. Have a good week. Thank you. Bye. Bye.